So what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Gioni Drive and today we are looking at this 1993 Mazda RX-7. This is the US edition, it's the left hand drive, 5 speed manual transmission. This has the original rotary engine in it. I bought this car about a month ago and I haven't made a video since I bought it. I have just been driving it and uh, kind of getting used to it. This one is a touring edition. So it does have the sunroof. It does have the acoustic speaker system in the back, but the previous owner removed it. It's all original. The only thing different is the radio. So I've been looking for an RX-7 for about three years, and I have found a few that I like, but I never had a chance to buy them. Something always happened. So when this popped up, it was kind of expensive, but I went to see it. I gave the guy an offer and he accepted it. So what I was looking for with an RX-7 was one, it had to be left-hand drive, Two, it had to be all original, it had to be manual, and it had to have low mileage. But this one also came with records. I have maintenance record going back to day one when it was sold. They are about four years missing on the record, but it's not a big deal. I think this car was parked somewhere because it has very low mileage. I mean, it's a 30 year old car, so it does have scratches here and there. The paint on these cars were not that good from factory. There are a few paint issues. It does show a little bit of wear and tear on the driver's seat. But other than that, it's a car that doesn't need any work right now. So my goal with this car is to keep it stock. I might improve the cooling. I might put a bigger radiator and maybe an oil cooler. I might get some different limbs on here. And I might get an exhaust too, because this one is so quiet. When you drive this thing, you can barely hear the exhaust. The stock FDs were very, very quiet and tame. So a few things I like about this car. One is low mileage. It's very clean, no modification. I think this is a very beautiful car. Mazda did a great job designing this car. And the other thing I like about the car is very solid. It reminds me of driving a 911, but it's very stiff. The suspension, even though it's stock, you can feel every bump. So this car is very light, it's about 2,800 pounds, but it's not the lightest car I own. I own a 240Z that weighs about 2300 pounds. My 240Z has more power than this because it has one JZ twin turbo on it. This has the rotary 1.3, it's two sequential turbos, and I plan to keep it that way as long as I can. So the first owner bought this car back in 1992. She paid about $32,000, and that's about how much I paid for this car. The market on this car have gone crazy. This car, if it was on auction, like bring a trader, it could have sold for more than what I paid for. I've seen a few of them sell for over $40,000 with the same mileage as this one. This car being all original, it has about 255 horsepower with around 217 feet pound of torque. And it's very quick even in modern day started. Now this thing like to rev, it will rev all the way to 84 100 rpm so this was just a quick video to show you guys my new acquisition i'm going to put more videos on the channel about the car i did have to sell my mr2 so i can buy this car and i have to say the market for the japanese car has gone crazy i sold my mr2 within 24 hours and i already had five offers and even when I bought this, the first day, someone offered me to buy the car. Actually, two people were asking if I'm selling the car. So this was just a quick video to update you guys on my new Mazda RX-7. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.